think we're we're both goalkeepers, and I think. <laughs> <laughs> you think? <laughs> so first of all, guys, tell us a little bit about yourselves as players. What can they expect from you, the fans? Um, well, I would see myself as a bit of a modern goalkeeper, as it were. So I'm fairly comfortable with my feet. Um, on both feet, uh, look to pass in all different areas of the pitch and stuff like that, and help with the team with playing out. So, your communication during games, you're often kind of the loudest on the pitch. Is that something that, is that you've, have you always been like that as a goalkeeper? Yeah, ever since I was young, I think as a keeper, you can see everything on the pitch. So, I think it's important for you to communicate to all the players out there so that can help them because you can see more of it. And yeah, I think it helps the players a lot. And on the other side of that, are there any weaknesses that you feel you need to work on as goalkeepers to, to reach the next level? I think in terms of George and I are both sort of the same point in our career, um, 19, 20, and we look to push on um, via the loan pathway, which helps in terms of the off the ball sort of stuff. So the stuff you might not get in the 23s league, so the physicality in the box and, and sweeping the ball from the from the back over behind the back four and stuff like that. The loan pathway is something that keepers our age need to do. And I think going on that, you'll maybe find weaknesses and find areas you need to improve on. And I think you get a massive improvement. It highlights, it highlights on, things yeah. that you don't, you didn't know were your weakness, and then you think, well, I'm actually not fantastic at that. Yeah. And in terms of you know your development and over the last few years, what's the best piece of advice that you've been given that you've kind of always taken on board and taken with you? Uh, I think it's well drilled into us that football isn't a, a straight road. It's always up and down. It's tumultuous. It goes up and down. It's not. There's no. Isn't, uh, you can't get too high when things go well you can't go too low because then you have to stay very very composed and very and very level-headed in order to not so George with the first team George probably on a massive high and that's really good for his career but in terms of regulating highs and lows we're both going in England we both can't get too carried away I think you don't get given anything in football so I think you need to sort of make your own luck in a way by working hard and doing the doing everything you can so gives you the best opportunity because we, we're both lucky and everyone is lucky to be in the, the position we're in. I think a lot of kids our age would love to be here so I think you just got to take it, just work as hard as you can and don't take it for granted. And this should be an interesting question, um, which PL2 teammate do you feel is most likely to become a first team regular? Apart from ourselves because we're going to get there aren't we George? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'd say Connor McAvoy who Met, who's who's been here sort of similar time, amount of time as I have very uh, a very long time but he's sort of come on in terms of his ball playing ability off both feet um, very composed at the back um, and a decent presence in the air as well I'll probably go Fabio just for how good he is at creating creating opportunities in the final third and his, his footwork's amazing and finding that pass and I think He's one who work, he works hard off the pitch as well, so I think that will get him a long way as well. So apologies to everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> you both had you know a great start to the season. You're both off to the England camp tomorrow. Um, what are your targets for the rest of, of not only this year but this season? For me personally, um, probably so as you said, George and I are both with the England set up on tomorrow. So obviously we look to maintain our position within that setup. That's always a good aim. Um, in terms of when we're with, with Fulham, we try and we try and win as many games as possible for the team and stuff like that. But in terms of from personal view, trying playing well, uh, working on things that maybe are our weaknesses. But in terms of the season, I'd like to go out on loan, get another taste of men's football, and develop on that side of the game in terms of physicality and, and, and just the men's all-round game. I think. I say for me, just taking it as it comes. Obviously, at the moment with loans and with the first team and the bubble and everything with, with COVID, it, it's tough. You can't really tell what's going to happen. But I think for me, just making sure this year I develop as much as possible, work as hard as I can, and then see where that takes me, whether that's training with the first team every day, being here, playing with the 23s or going out on loan, whatever it is, just making sure I improve as much as I can each year. And final few questions now. These are more focused away from the pitch. Um, what's the last series you two binged on TV? I just finished the season season eight of Homeland, which is very good. It's sort of like uh, spies, terrorists sort of thing. It's wow. pretty CIA sort of dramatic it's stuff. Quite, it's quite good. Um, so yeah, finished that. That's pretty Can good. you match I that? Just, yeah, I just watched um, Cobra Kai. It's a follow-on from um, Karate Kid. 
and it's decent. You, you're a fan of the Karate Kids, the old school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched well. them all, so yeah, I didn't realize it was a, a thing, but it's doing well on Netflix at the minute, so I thought I'd give it a watch. And yeah, I wasn't disappointed. Right. It was decent, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> decent. The last track that you listened to on Spotify. I remember this morning in the car, a bit of Rihanna. Nice. Four or five seconds. That was a, <laughs> that's what I pulled up to. What I was listening to. Do you find that that gets you ready for training? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pumps me up. I can't remember the last song, but probably something with Drake. Um, Not bad. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Safe bet, isn't it? Safe bet. Safe Had to please so everyone safe. watching. Had to please. So <laughs> safe. Tell us about a hidden talent that you have away from football. Well, I used to play county cricket, so if that counts, then that's probably my choice. You still, in, you still into that now? No. On the side? No. Yeah, I do enjoy sometimes watching the IPL at the moment. That's that's done anyway, but. Um, yeah, cricket I go for, maybe. It's a bit boring. Nice. Trying to think Something. back to school. I was right at badminton. <laughs> I've got the height. Yeah, you've been perfect at badminton. Yeah, badminton. Yeah, so that's my hidden talent. Badminton? Yeah, I think if I wasn't a footballer, I'd be half decent badminton player. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be unstoppable, though. I, yeah, like the height, I think, yeah. I wouldn't want to face you at badminton. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. And uh, finally, your favourite food. Thai. It's got to be Thai. Anything in particular? Yeah, so I'll go Tom Car to start with. Yep. Coconut. Um, and probably a Thai red curry. Nice. I'm not a fan of the spice, so that with a bit of rice, sticky rice. That sounds amazing. Yeah, Can you match bread. that, Luca? No. I'd <laughs> probably go Italian, probably. I do like spaghetti bolognese. It's all like the balance of the flavours, right? If it's not bland, then it's nice, isn't it? Oh, yeah. oh, Wicked says boring. <laughs> <laughs> <Who cares? laughs>